Hi everybody. Thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. It's time for another Tuesday night choo-choo. Um, you will see Camille Amoy after me, and then after Camille will be Holly with the morning pour, and hopefully Nate will be back this week. But if not, then we're hopefully gonna see him real soon. I wanted to show you my, um, the dried, I, you know, I just am so in love with this. This is the real color. There is no editing. This just turned out, I'll bring it up, absolutely stunning. I, I have to say, my husband said that the Orient, the gold is his favorite, but this is right up there with it. It's beautiful. I am going to put a little bit more of black on here. I just haven't decided if I'm going to resin or if I'm going to go ahead and um, varnish it. But anyway, I wanted to show you this and um, please subscribe and give me a big thumbs up if you like my videos and for my friends as well, Camille and Holly. They're amazing people and Nate as well. Um, he's probably not going to be on tonight, but they're three amazing people. They're awesome artists and um, it really helps our channel grow when you hit that like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends and get other people to join on um, our Tuesday night premiere. It really means a lot. Um, and for those of you that are already subscribed and always there supporting me and I know that Camille, Holly and Nate feel the same way. We thank you so, so much. So I have some exciting news. I'm going to set this down. I have been asked by Tara with Pieces of Tara's Artistry to be her assistant in Texas. I'm so excited to be, I'm, I'm just honored, I'm humbled. It is going to be an amazing time to go there and actually work in the classroom with her. So I hope that I'll see all of you there. She's got some amazing giveaways that she's going to be doing. I'm actually donating a flower pop to give away in her classroom. And um, she's um, gonna be doing a lot of Dutch pours. And I think she has a Dutch and a Pearl pour on one of her classes, but you should check out my Pearl pours. Any of my Pearl pours that have Dutch pours, those were actually my classes. I think it's video 66 is one of them and I think 37. They are both um, amazing videos and the Pearl course turned out stunning. And I have to be honest with you, um, it was really my first class with Tara and I just picked it right up by her instructions. I don't think she has a lot of classes left, but I would recommend anyone that is trying to get their consistency, that wants some really step-by-step, in-depth instructions, you need to um, come on to Texas. I'd love to see you there. So thank you, Tara. I'm so humbled and I'm so excited to be going to Texas. I am going to have my autograph book, that's for sure, because there's some amazing artists that are gonna be participating. So without further ado, I want to get down to the canvas and start my spa renovation video. Let's get started. Hi guys, it's Lori Houston. How are you? Thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. Okay, I am so excited. I have actually, um, I'm gonna shut this door. Okay, so I am so excited. I have a, I think this is a 16 or 15 by 40, 16 by 40. I actually brought a ladder. If you watch uh, Molly's Artistry, how she has some of her cameras set up, that's where I said, you know what, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna put my camera up on a ladder and see so that I can get the full view. So I am working on some spa renovation pieces and I want to continue to video those and keep everybody in the loop with um, some of the different pieces that I am doing for a spa renovation. You saw some of the fire glass. Um, some of these pieces um, will be in the actual area where you know there's gonna be moisture. So it's gonna be really important that I seal them properly. And then my bling piece from last week that you saw will be in the more of the office space, I believe. 
So today what I've done is I've already went through and I've painted all the edges of my canvas um, and I used Amsterdam Sky Blue Light. Um, that is an opaque paint and it just really covers your edges very, very good. Now I've already started the paint line, excuse me, the tape line. And the reason is I'm gonna be doing something fun with this tape. So I really wanna know where my lines are gonna be and I'm gonna go through and um, I'm going to paint this area with the um, sky blue light or another paint. And I think I'm gonna come off of, I think I need another line here. So I may come up like this as well. So all I wanted to do is kind of have a guide on where I want the paint to be. Once the paint is dried, then we will place the tape back down and I'll show you this step by step. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I think it's gonna be amazing. Um, I probably will do um, different techniques on this canvas. And I think right now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to paint, um, paint these lines where I'm going to put some fun stuff. So I think I have some sky blue light, I do. We're gonna go ahead and um, I love this color. The sky blue light it works so great in my pearl pores too. Okay, so we know where our line is. Um, and again, I'm just getting it to where, um, I'm kind of just getting a guide to where the tape is gonna be. I'm just marking it a little bit. It's, it's um, doesn't have to be exact because we're covering it with paint. So I am going to peel this tape back and we're just going to paint this area with some blue paint. Everybody. Okay, I am back. The blue paint is now dry and I'm putting the tape back on where um, the lines are going to be. Right now I'm using a, <clears throat> excuse me, golden uh, gloss gel and it just helps seal the edges so that when I paint over the tape, um, there's no paint that seeps under the tape. It kind of seals the edges. Hi everybody. Okay, we're back for the next step. I went ahead and as you saw, I painted my blue line. I put my tape down and then I sealed the edges of my tape with my gloss gel. All that is going to do is it's just going to keep the tape so that none of the paint seeps in. So for my spa collection, um, this is crazy. Um, I thought that because this is going to be um, part of the um, renovation that I would mix paints for this. I am gonna be brave 
and I'm gonna use leftover paints. So I didn't want to, if you can see, so basically take every blue that you possibly have <laughs> in your paint collection. And um, I do have some that I transferred into these. It's gonna be all aquas and blues because this is for a spa. And I did have some white over there. It looks like it's got a little bit, it's pretty thick. I'm gonna add some more water to it, but it looks like it's um, got a little shimmer to it. I have no idea what it is. It's one of those things that you just wanna paint. Don't label your paint. I, I have gotten better with labeling. Um, I love these containers and you can write on top. Uh, but the paints that are in there did, were in a cup. They didn't have anything on them, so that's why it's where that's why it's the way it is. Okay, so the three sections I have de decided that I'm going to do um, a flip cup. I think up here. Um, I think I'm going to do a ring pour here in the middle, and then another flip cup. So maybe two or three flip cups. I think is the way to go. I thought about using one of my um, paint pour cups. I have this one with, um, you know, the, from Tracy Reed that has the four chambers. And I thought about doing that here and I may, I don't know. Um, right now I am going to start by um, layering my cups. And I'll probably speed through. I may talk in that. Let me get my gloves on. This process is it's going to be hard. I, I actually, I think I told you all, I have my camera up on a ladder. And um, it's going to really, once I get the paints mixed, um, I have a table here beside me that I'm going to kind of move everything and set the paints up here. Because it's going to be very hard to tilt. This table just accommodates this canvas. So I am going to um, focus. I'm going to get my cups and I'm gonna start um, creating the cups that I'm gonna lay down um, for this canvas. So I will talk to you and see you at the end. Okay, we are now flipping the cups on each of the ends and I did a ring pour in the center and I am actually um, you know not looking for any specific pattern I just want to make sure that I've got a good um, uh, just a, different variations of color since I am going to be using the rock to separate um, some of the colors. So it'll be interesting. I'm not real crazy about the blue um, that is in this painting. I am now just going through and tilting it out. Very difficult because the table is almost the same length as the canvas. So I'm trying, I think I hit the camera once and um, I actually end up doing a quick ring pour on the end of each canvas just because um, I didn't like all that blue in there. Okay, so here is the wet results and I absolutely love the color palette now. Okay, so I'm now bringing you down for a close-up. I am really um, confused as to why the lighting is so different in different views. Um, I don't know if it's because I turned off the overhead light in the beginning and then I added a side light, but this really is more of an aqua blue. Um, I removed a lot of the royal blue that you see here right now um, it just um, it just was overbearing a little bit, 
but I like I'm bringing you down into these greens and aqua there's still some of the sky blue and a little bit of white um, I think the treasure gold uh, green that's in there is really um, gives it some depth and a little bit of shimmer so make sure again you stay tuned for Camille Amoy she's up next and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for all of the people in our train, which is Holly with the Morning Pour and Nate. Um, if Nate is on with us this week, he has been on vacation. So I am just going through and showing you um, the wet results, and then we're going to pull the tape and start took putting the tape the off of this where I'd originally put the um, the lines. This is abs tape lines. It's absolutely. This is just stunning. It's beautiful. Um, I actually have decided to use this um, really pretty blue. This is not really a fire glass. It's just really decorative rock stone and then a little bit of this green. And there are some colors in here that was through. Um, we have, if you remember, we had this, um, I think there was some aquamarine in here. And um, so instead of, you know, matching it perfect, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put the blue um, stone along here. And then I'm going to just add a little bit of these green along the line. I'm gonna do both lines. I am gonna do the edges as well. I'm going to adhere um, the rock to the canvas. I have not decided if I may resin just this triangle and um, but then you know I got thinking if I did that I'd have to resin all of the rock so I don't know if I'm going to just resin up to the rock line and have one piece or varnish it I haven't decided yet but this is oh my goodness and I've started another one same size canvas um, and it is um, more of a ocean sand theme it's it's beautiful I can't wait to share it with you so anyway I am going to speed this up and I'm going to go ahead and get the rock adhered to the um, to the canvas and I will see you at the end
So I figured it out. I couldn't figure out why parts of my video were really a light blue and some were aqua, some were bright blue. I wasn't very intelligent when I decided to use two different cameras. I know that has something to do with it. The camera that I'm on now is a very, it's the newest version iPhone. And the one that I um, leave up here and I use um, on and off, that is a, um, that is a iPhone 8, I think it is. So that's probably has something to do with it. So I am actually gonna show you as best that I can. I'm gonna back up and this is the dried results. And we actually put some um, varnish on it. Beautiful, you can see the glisten. Oh my goodness. And in certain lights, it's aqua and then other lights, it's blue. Um, I know the client is going to be extremely happy with this piece. This series is amazing. Um, the next piece that I did, I think is even better than this one. So it just keeps getting better and better. So I wanted to share this with you because I wanted you to see, I, there's no editing, there's no color. Uh, Photoshop, I, I really wanted you to get the true color of this because it's it's stunning. So anyway, let's um, let me show you a few ways that you can place this on the wall. I'll see you there. Hey everybody. Okay, do not forget, let's head over to Camille's channel and then Holly is next after Camille. We will see if Nate is able to join in tonight as well. Hey, don't forget to check out Pieces of Tara's Artistry's channel where she has the information on the fluid art experience that's taking place in Texas. Thank you again, Tara, for asking me to assist you in this wonderful event. Let's head over to Camille's, everyone. See you there.